Hello guys, hello, 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 hello. Once again, it is Pastor A coming to you to read to you the good news daily. And I'd like to give honor to my spiritual parents, Prophet Uber Angel and Prophetess BB Angel. I'm so, so, so excited. And um, if you are in the Silver Spring, Maryland area, definitely in the DMV, contact me, DM me, DM me so we can get together. All right, so we can do some meetups. <laughs> So we can do some meetup. So, <laughs> of course, we have baby Sophia here, and she'll be joining us. So let us go ahead and get started. Today, the title of our lesson is Peacemakers. Peacemakers. And our text comes from Matthew chapter 5 and verse 9. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. So before we even go into how the um, prophets are explaining this, Blessed are the peacemakers. So every time that you have um, made sure that peace is there, that peace is around you, you are, that you are peace, that you are calm, you don't overreact, you don't blow oh. up, you shall be called the children of God. So people will know that um, keeping the peace, no arguments, no disturbances, no outrages, like I'm tired, like if you're waiting in line, I'm tired of waiting causing that um, energy to flow from you that's negative, that causes others to react who don't have self-control and discipline or may not even be a Christian. But to know that you are the peacemaker, that you are calm, cool, and collected, they will know you are a child of God. Like only God can keep you that peaceful. Only God can give, no matter what you're going through, you be like, they're going to look at you like, you got to be of God. Like that is a, only a trait of God. And they're going to attribute everything of you, you keeping that peace, your calmness, you holding your peace, biting your tongue, not saying anything, not fighting, not arguing. They're going to know right then and there that, why are you like that? Are you a Christian? And as that, that is an opportunity right there to witness to them, to evangelize them, and to get them to know who, who you serve, the Jesus Christ in you. To teach them right there at that moment about who Christ is and how they too can be peacemakers. All right, so let us see what the prophets have in store for us today. As Christians, it is extremely important for you to understand that we are not of this world. When the world starts to panic during economic problems, we don't become worried or act as if we are hopeless. Because we are the children of God, we have peace and should look for opportunities to bring God's peace to the hopeless. See, as you keep, you remain calm, people will notice that and see that. And then that is us bringing that peace and an opportunity to share our peace with others. You might be at work and the manager announces that there will be layoffs. While everyone else is stressing out and complaining, you speak peace in that environment. Tell your coworkers, if this door is closing, that just means another has already opened. If you are the one that has been laid off, Thank your manager for the journey you had at the company and boldly declare you're moving higher. Leave a positive impression in the midst of contradiction. Don't act like everyone else because you know who your source is. You are a peacemaker. So how do you bring peace when you are afraid? Can you imagine we are given instructions right there on what to do if something happens, if we were to be laid off, lose our job, or be threatened, just say, I'm moving higher. I'm moving higher. God peace is already available, but it is up to you to make that situation peaceful in your mind. You control your atmosphere. Take God at his word and execute on it. You are a child of God and are not from this world. And you know, there's peace in heaven. You are in heaven. Heaven is in you right now. The Godhead bodily is in you. Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, God, everybody is in you. You are peace, heaven right here on earth. Take God at his word and execute on it. You are a child of God and are not from this world. Remember that. Never, ever forget it. Therefore, we operate, we operate by a different set of rules. Get in the word and remind yourself who you are. You are a child of God and are called blessed because you are a peacemaker. So, you know, when people greet you and they say, uh, and you be like, and they might say, hi, I'm blessed and highly favored. Or... Hi, um, um, how are you doing? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. This is a blessing that you can actually relate to and say, I am blessed. What about like, what are your blessings? I am a peacemaker. I am a child. Therefore, I'm called a child of God. So 
that is a way like people can mention Abraham's blessings and may not actually know what those blessings entail. But you now of today know that when you speak and are greeted and someone asks you, how are you doing? I'm blessed. I'm favored. I'm good. You know, I'm a child of God. You know, I'm higher and higher every single day. All these words I have on my wall back here, those that's who I am. That's what I embody. So therefore, those are the blessings. Those are my blessings. That's a part of salvation for me and for you as well. So now we have an answer when someone says, blessed, what does that mean? Or how are you blessed? Or what does the blessings entail? You can just lay them right there, being a peacemaker. All right. And it says right here, the Lord Jesus said, peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world give it, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. This means that peace of God in you lets you know that you always have the victory. You always have the victory. That peace that God has given you is victory. You've keeping your cool. You're keeping your calm. You are peaceful. You are peaceful. Come here. Come here, Sophia. You are that peace in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That peace that God has given us. He gave it to us. We give it to others. Not as the world give it, where you happy one moment and you down the next. It doesn't last. But the peace that God has given us lasts forever, eternity. So that goes to our prophetic declaration, which reads, I have the peace of God because I am a child of God. So it comes as part of your inheritance. Come here. I will no longer let anything steal my peace. I bring God's peace to every chaotic situation. The Lord is always with me. I am a peacemaker. Can you imagine? Hallelujah. When you say that over yourself, it becomes who you are. And your ears hear it. Your body hears it. Your flesh hears it. Everything about you now knows that you are a peacemaker. And not only that, you seal it with a hallelujah, a praise at the end, an excitement and a joy at the end. It is received in you. It is so, so exciting. So, so in, in, in invigorating, like energetic, like it gives you something. You are in a chaotic situation. You bring peace, the peace that God has given you, the peace that God has left with you right here. Now we're going to go to the um, further study, which is in Colossians 3. And Colossians 3.15 says, and let the peace of God, here we are. And let the peace of God, look at that. It starts right there. Rule in your hearts, in our hearts, rule in our hearts. So, so is the man thinketh in his heart, so is he. If you are constantly reminding yourself and knowing and thinking that you are peace, then you are peace. You are peace. It is in your heart. It's who you are. It cannot be separated. It cannot go anywhere, disappear. It's in your heart. It's it's in there. Your blood warm through there. It's in your veins. It's who you are. And it says, and let the peace of God rule in your hearts to the which also ye are called in one body, in one body. We are the body of Christ and be ye thankful. I told you, be ye thankful. You have sealed that thing with a hallelujah. You have sealed it with a hallelujah. You are thankful. You are grateful. You are appreciative. You are glad to be that child of God. Hallelujah. And that brings us to the end. So until next time, it's Pastor A signing out. And remember, if you're in the DMV area, which is on the East Coast of USA, definitely, definitely DM me so that we may meet up. Love you guys. And until next time, see ya.